Hello, we're here with Liz and Jim from Flea Market Music. What's up, guys? Aloha. 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 <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. Cool. So, you guys are the makers of the famous flute in Flea. So, uh, what, what can we expect from 2011 from you guys? Well, uh, you can see it actually right here. I'm holding it. It's a new banjo uke that my brother-in-law, Dale Webb, has been working on. And... Um, it's uh, once again made in the United States, like everything that we do, the fluke and the flea, all, ma all made here. And uh, this one actually uses a Remo percussion. Um, and this is actually a, a hand percussion. <laughs> That's cool. And he adapted it with, with a flea neck. And um, it, it seems a lot simpler than it really is. There's a lot of work that goes into sort of figuring out all the angles. But um, it has really wonderful action. It has a nice sort of mellow tone to it. Also very loud. Everybody's been picking it up in the show. It's like, this is amazingly loud. This is cool. This is cool. It's an open back, <laughs> and it's very light. Um, we should have these um, it, starting in March. Um, the, the first ones are going to have the rosewood fretboard, but eventually we'll probably tool up and be able to um, have them with the uh, molded fretboard, which will mean the price will come down a lot. But even it, with the molded, with the uh, rosewood fretboard, they're yeah. retailing for around two twenty nine. Oh wow, that's really good. So it's still a really yeah, good price. And then um, for the songbook side, um, Liz and I have been working for the last year, pretty uh, nonstop on what became the daily ukulele, which is the biggest ukulele songbook oh, ever published. That's that's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's almost three pounds. Wow. So about, it has a song a day, 365 cool. Cool. songs, including Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, and one Stephen of, Foster, talk about nice, contrast, nice. you know. Awesome. One of the things that we really focused on in this book was we, we sort of had uke clubs in mind especially. Uh -huh. And so we wanted to streamline the arrangements so that large groups could play these songs and, uh, and just keeping the essential chords there. In order to save space, we put all the chord frames. We're normally on our Jump and Jim books. We have we them have everywhere. Them. Yeah. We just put them under the title and that allowed us to so never have to turn a page for a song. Right. Right, right. And then oh, we focused on making sure that um, we were working with two issues, one of which is to pick good uke keys, of course, and then try to find ranges that were, were good for just sort of a mass audience. Uh -huh. You were explaining to me earlier about um, a, way that, a different way that you hold your G for, for oh, a yeah. specific reason. So uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. Since on the ground is an There's educational also, site. I know. There's also a bit of uh, instruction at the beginning of this book. Yeah, so it's included in this book. So, nice. Actually, I call it, um, I'll show you. It's called, uh, I refer to it as the, um, the Pinky G. The Pinky G. And in here I also talk about the Hawaiian D7. But the Pinky G is something that um, I've been teaching in all my workshops lately, which is that almost everybody teaches you to make a G with your index finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Almost all the books. And I think most people learn it that way because they're afraid to use their pinky. It's the weakest finger. But if you play a lot of music, you realize early on that a transition from the major to the seven is pretty common. And if you play your G with your index, middle, and ring, you have to lift them all up to make the G7. Whereas if you make your G with the middle, ring, and pinky, then of course you just lift the pinky and pop down the index. Nice, nice. It's also great to do this because then you can get to the E7 really fast. So it's all about, to me, getting better on the ukulele is all about transitions, ease of which you can move from one chord to the next. And so it's the easiest way. Right, it's almost like ballet, you know, exactly, with the exactly. least yeah. amount of motion to get awesome, to the next awesome. song. So that and more in this awesome new book we have. And then sprinkled throughout we have wonderful vintage photographs. Sweet. I don't know if you can get those. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. In the back. We have a collection of all kinds of great there pictures. He is. <laughs> there he yes. is. There he is. These people are really old actually. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so I also see that you guys have a solid body ukulele. Yeah. Solid body fluke. And uh, it has B band electronics in it. B band. This is the second time that we heard this today. Yeah. yeah. Is this the new, uh, the new electronics so. that's coming right. out now? Yeah. My brother in law really likes B band. Cool. Um, this is, you know, it all comes out completely um, tricked out with a rosewood fretboard. It's got great sound, mm -hmm. and the so and it comes in a variety of different woods, which actually come from um, from New England. Oh. So um, the same blue headstock. Yeah. 
And it is really sweet. It's a nice sounding uke. Yeah, that is. Yeah, for all about you pull this is very light. That's new. We have some new designs too. This one is, uh, this was designed by Tiki King and we call it the Atomic. And uh, so, we, you know, we love to introduce a couple of new designs every year. Cool. So anyway, yeah, we do have one more book that I did for Hal Leonard. Um, and it's obviously, it's Disney songs for ukulele. And, um, and one of the interesting things about this was I wasn't quite sure how songs from um, High School Musical and and right. Lion King. So you're doing the Beauty classics. And the Beast. You're doing the classics. I, I figured the classics would, yeah. would actually work out fine, but I didn't. I was worried about sort of Elton John songs for the youth. But right, the big right. surprise was actually how well the Lion King songs adapted oh, cool, for cool, youth. Cool. And Beauty and the Beast. So anyway. Yeah. Right one. on, right on. I'm sure a lot of people will be picking up this book over here. Me included. <laughs> I love Disney songs. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Oh, so, enjoy. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank oh. you. I, my hands are full now. Aloha. Aloha. Thanks. So, free market music, guys. Check them out. Ukulele on the ground.com signing off. Aloha.